So we partnered with Warehouser. These are the Timberstrand LSL engineer studs. And what's really important is, one of the questions often asked is the cost difference, right? Because there is an investment to go with LSL interior studs to a traditional framing dug fur package. In this house specifically, this home for some context, is about 8,800 square feet livable space. That's air conditioned, heated space. All the interior walls are LSL engineered studs from Weyerhaeuser. Now, something to bring in context is there was a, an 11% increase. So this had nothing to do with labor, not the total cost of the home, just the lumber itself. So as you think about just the material aspect, 11%, not a huge, you know, um, it didn't move the needle a tremendous amount from a cost perspective. But now let's speak about the benefit. Although there's an 11% cost up front to install the engineer studs, now as we get into finishes, right? One of the pet peeves we have as builders is coming in during the finish stage, and now we're installing these very complicated wood flooring installs. In this house, we're gonna have a lot of chevron install, a lot of herringbone. So it's really important, especially as we get to the edge, to the walls, that those tie in and look properly so that, you know, as we're putting in the finishes. This is no different than the trim carpentry. This is a traditional home. We're gonna have a lot of trim carpentry on the walls. So as you install a lot of trim, as you have wood flooring, tile flooring in all the bathrooms, we have some bathrooms that have full slab walls. The importance of having walls that are straight, essentially laser leveled, right? It really gives us a lot of savings as we get into the finishes to not have to rebuild these walls, to not have to come back, plane them, you know, maybe add drywall. Sometimes we'll have to increase the drywall mud in some areas to smooth them out. You know, even come back and rebuild some of the walls which we've done in other projects, especially on those wing walls, or on these tall balloon frame walls, especially in the staircase. And so as you're eliminating rework, which is always a cost, whether it's us or the consumer, it offsets that 11% increase. The labor essentially stayed the same. Our framer did not change the labor price by going with a warehouser product. So it's just the material itself. So it really shows the benefit of the investment up front and how that plays a role throughout the course of construction.